Flying at zero feet over the North Sea to avoid German radar and fighters, the medium bombers of No. 2 Group RAF raced towards the Netherlands. 36 Douglas Bostons of 88, 107 and 226 squadrons are at the head of an attacking force being led by Wing Commander James Pelly Fry. Following precisely three minutes behind them are 10 de Havilland Mosquitoes of 105 and 139 squadrons, led by squadron leader Huey Edwards. Behind the Mosquitoes are 48 Lockheed Venturas of 21, 464 and 487 squadrons that comprise the rear of the formation. The target of the raiding force is the Philips Stripe and Emma Single radio and vacuum tube works in Eindhoven, one of the biggest producers of electronics in Europe at the time. Having been occupied since 1940, Phillips overstate their production numbers to mislead the Germans, but these statistics are believed by the British Air Ministry and the factories are classed as a priority target for Bomber Command. To avoid civilian casualties, a daylight raid has been organised to destroy the Stripe and Emma Single factories in Eindhoven. Flying through the Osterschelde estuary for 30 miles or 50 kilometres, the force of 94 bombers fly at ground level at 2 to 300 miles per hour or roughly 400 kilometers per hour in groups of up to six to facilitate speed, rapid changes of course and evasion. The bombers avoid the anti-aircraft emplacements on the coast, but many aircraft receive bird strikes, causing varying amounts of damage. Four Venturas are shot down as they make landfall on the Dutch coast. The Bostons make landfall at Bergen op Zom, where they pass close to the heavily defended Wernsdrecht airfield. Fokkerwolves of JG-1 are scrambled to intercept. Mosquito pilot Flight Lieutenant Charles Patterson recalls, They looked so normal just like Spitfires taking off in England, that it was hard to realise they were coming up to kill you. Close behind the Bostons, Flight Lieutenant Douglas George Parry leads Flight Lieutenant Bill Blessing and Pilot Officer Jimmy Bruce to distract the fighters from the main formation and outrun them with their superior speed. Continuing inland, the Bostons dangerously tree hop their way to Eindhoven. At Turnhout, Pelly Fry turns to begin the run into the target.
he and his navigator desperately searched for landmarks to guide the force to Eindhoven. Helly Fry spots the target and begins the attack. At exactly 12.30 hours, Pelly Fry bombs the Emmersingle factory at rooftop level, while the rest of 88 and 226 squadrons bomb from 1500 feet or 300 meters. The 107 Squadron, led by Squadron Leader McLaughlin at ground level, attacks the Strike Works also at 1,500 feet. The Stripe and Emmerzingle factories are hit accurately by the first wave. The Stripe tower clock is stopped at 12.32 hours for the remainder of the war. Sergeant Stephen Roach states, It was an enormous show. There were planes everywhere. Once we bombed, it was every man for himself. Three minutes later, the mosquitoes arrive at 1,500 feet and drop their payload. Flight Lieutenant Patterson recalls, As I passed the Phillips works, the whole factory seemed to erupt in a cloud of smoke and flashes. While leaving the target area, Heli Fry's aircraft is hit, leaving him unable to turn towards the coast and lead the Boston's home. Some remain with him, while 10 to 20 aircraft follow the planned route to England. At this moment, the Venturas arrive and bomb the works. The Phillips works suffer severe damage from the bombings requiring six months to restore production. The smoke obscuring the buildings causes the Ventura of Flight Sergeant John Greening to fly into the Stripe Works. A low-level race to the coast then occurs, where some 10 to 20 aircraft were screaming along, full throttle loose mass. No one wanted to be at the back, where the Fokker Wolves were coming in to attack, according to Pilot Officer Jack Peppier. To the north, Pelly Fry is finally able to turn west. Meanwhile, the other group of Bostons are pounced on by enemy fighters.
Approaching Rotterdam, Peli Fry's group fly north of the city to avoid significant flak defences. Pilot of Bruce, who has successfully avoided the fighters he helped to distract earlier, catches up to the Bostons and overtakes them. Most of the Bostons reach the coast around the Hook of Holland, pursued by fighters who have waited for them to appear. Four Bostons are shot down, including Wing Commander Peter Dutton, the commanding officer of 107 Squadron. Pilot Officer O'Grady is shot down off the coast of Den Helder. 